Um, sorry about that. Uh, that's what I get for driving down Old Spanish Trail and losing connection. So I was saying fats and never quite finished kind of the two hypotheses. One, it said we'd been eating these saturated fats and as a result, our rate of heart attacks in the United States increased because of that. And again, these are just two hypotheses, right? They were saying this is kind of what we're assuming has happened. And as a result of all those, um, we should start eating these processed things because now they're healthier for us. The other was that we'd gone away from eating them and started eating more junk. And as a result, we need to go back to eating saturated fats. So there was a study done. Um, Ansel Keys was a guy that did the study. And when he published his findings, he only listed six countries. And it started from Japan, which was really low on this sliding scale that said, hey, they, they don't eat all these saturated fats like the United States does. And as a result, that's why we had such a high rate or increase in heart attacks. It was later found out that he didn't study just six countries, he studied 22 countries and the spectrum was all across the graph, but he chose selectively to list only those six and it actually lined up with a nice increase there that showed that. So the country then decided, okay, we're gonna get behind this study and we're gonna make everybody not eat fats and say saturated fats are bad and that these new trans fats that they're making, um, the fake margarine Crisco, it's so much healthier for you. Um, well, we've now realized that that's not true. And I did a whole thing on hydrogenated oil last time and trans fats, and actually Ansel Keys came out in 1991 and said he reversed his decision on his whole study and said, no, uh, we should go back to eating saturated fats, which is animal fats, beef, uh, chicken or eggs, stuff like that, avocados, the good oils or the good fats that we hear about. The last video I talked about was the trans fats and how, you know, nickel's added, it puts up this high temperature, high pressure, they add hydrogen to it, and it kind of changes the structure from a liquid to a semi-liquid, semi-solid. Uh, margarine is one of the big things. And why did they do that? Because it increased shelf life. So here's one of the examples. So I just head into the store right now, was in the refrigerator looking at some things and we bought Cool Whip and I think it was for Thanksgiving because it was prior to um, us starting this new health um, awareness that Stacy and I have been doing. And I looked at the Cool Whip and I thought, you know what, wow, we bought this right before Thanksgiving because I love pumpkin pie and yes, I'm the, you know, the Cool Whip kind of person. Um, so I look at the expiration date. December of 2018. So 13 months from when I bought this, this Cool Whip or you know, substitute for whipped cream is good for 13 more months after the date that we bought it. So that's an example of it. And I looked at the back and yep, hydrogenated oil was one of the first things, first ingredients on there. So what is trans fats do to your body? We I've said it's bad for you, I've talked about how it's made. So here's the deal. Each cell that you have has an outer membrane. That membrane is made up of two layers of fats. If you have good fat, fats on there, so you have saturated fats, you have monounsaturated uh, fats and polyunsaturated fats. So the, the makeup's like 50% saturated fats, 40% um, monounsaturated unsaturated fats. What that allows the membrane to do is it allows it to absorb the, the minerals, vitamins, proteins in and out of each cell because the makeup of that, that membrane outside the cell. So what does trans fats do? Well, if trans fats get in that outer shell, they are so hard because of the process they go through that the minerals and vitamins cannot penetrate through that cellular or fat layer, the double fat layer on the outside of your cells. So the more trans fats you're taking in your body, the less your cells are able to absorb the good things that you need. So you may be taking vitamins, you may be taking supplements, you may be eating some good foods. Um, however, your body is not able to absorb that into the cells and thus be able to use and process that stuff basically bounces off. It creates this hardened shell on the outside of your cells. So that's one of the reasons that um, trans fats are not good for you. It's what they do. Um, as a result of the study too, there was a big thing put out that said cholesterol was caused by um, 
these saturated fats. And if you read any study, all it ever says on the bottom is more research needs to be done. Everything has been inconclusive. So the idea that saturated fats are not good for you is actually not true. Um, you need the saturated fats. You need the animal fats. You need to be able to eat those things. And you need to try to stay away from the processed stuff, let alone the toxins you're putting in your body. I talked about nickel. I mean, look up and Google what nickel poisoning does and the amounts of nickel in your body it requires before you get that. So what are some of the symptoms? Uh, a lot of skin conditions are because of an increase in, in nickel or exposure to nickel. Um, so there's a lot more to come on this stuff, but I really wanted to kind of finish up that section of the saturated fats versus the trans fats and why the trans fats are bad, how it's made, and just kind of a wrap up some of the whole thing that came back about the 20s with the two hypotheses and now everything has changed 180 degrees and everybody's saying yep we need to get back to the healthy fats although they're still doing a lot of like marketing and they're putting them together um, but remember stay away from that bad stuff look at the ingredients on the stuff you're consuming and understand if you're putting trans fats in your body I don't care what else you're doing it's not going to be effective if you want to supplement and take vitamins and take all kinds of minerals and drinking green drinks and juicing and eating healthy, you got to get rid of that stuff first. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. I'll be back again soon with some more. Uh, a whole nother thing on fats. I'm going to talk about omegas next because that was a big one for me to try to figure that part of it out. And um, Stay tuned and I'll put something up soon. Thanks. See you guys.